What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Dark Souls 1. Air is prepared to go to Dark Root Base, and we're also discussing the whereabouts of Raven, because Air is here, and like I said just a moment ago, Air, or I'm sorry, Raven, we took a ride on his wings last time to the prison. He also flew us out of the prison. But is he the last Raven? I cannot confirm, because there are Raven-like creatures in this game somewhere else, so I suppose Raven would not be the last Raven. Oh, it's not a YouTube channel, Catman. He's just the person in Discord. Like, one of the people who watches the stream. So you flew on Baru, wings confirmed. Confirmed. I tried to quote it, and I fucked the quote up while we were doing it. So, you know, that was the moment we lost as a collective. But, you know, shit happens. Because I couldn't... It was on borrowed wings, and I said something else. And, you know, sometimes it be that way, I guess. Anyways, to Dark Root Basin we go. Can't one shot them apparently. L for the streamer, L for the AC fam. I think I can go this way. Hopefully memory serves. It does. Okay, cool. I believe there's a black knight down here somewhere in one of the caves because there's also a bonfire somewhere down going down this way. Hey, there's Dark Root Basin. Can we see the Hydra from here? Uh, absolutely not. I don't think there's a hidden wall. I think we just progress. Oh, lizard! We need a lizard. I feel like I missed one of these somewhere. Oh, Twinkling. Oh, you know what? We might need Twinkling Titanite. For, for, no, no, I think it is Demon for boss weapons. Either way, we'll figure it out. Hop on down, the price is right. It's a Lizard in Crimson. <laughs> Dude, Ev, you gotta play Endwalker. Holy hell, is it so good. I'm not done with it yet, but I'm at the end. And it's like, the whole thing, man. It, it's like Chef's Kiss. Like, I, it's incredible. Like, I don't know how... They did it. Well, I know how they did it. They have good writing, but like I was just very impressed with like the, with the whole story. Like I, I don't know. I'm just gonna gush over it. It's probably the best story in any Final Fantasy game. I mean, 10 is my favorite, but the way they're able to write for 14 is just incredible. And obviously, the music's incredible. Better than Heaven's Word? Yes, yes. Cause it ties it all together, dude. It like ties everything together, all of it. Uh, all right, all right. Now, see, of course, Cookie comes in contrarian with the FF tactics that I've not played, so I can't comment on that. Uh, our character is currently barefoot because the pants that we have on do not include shoes. You may ask why. I don't know why. Ow. I can do this! There we go. You're playing Final Fantasy 12 right now? I like 12. Is that sarcasm, Ev? I, people love tactics. I feel sarcasm. Dick stab! Oh, you actually... <laughs> not sarcasm. Dude, I... Corn wishes he could have these space marines. Why? I don't want an update, YouTube. No, stop. Like, um, so I've heard good things about tactics. I played Tactics Advanced on stream, which was fun. Um, I, isn't it? Um, isn't there like a PSP version? That's that's good. War of the Lions, I believe. Yeah, I would. I mean, I played Tactics Advance. I played the quote-unquote sequel to it, and I loved it. So I'm sure I would like. I, I've seen people play tac Tactics before. I'll like it. I don't mind if, it's, if it, the combat's slow. It would be nice if you could speed it up, obviously. But um, so War of the Lions was so much better than Tactics PS1. Really. I, I mean, I've heard good things about War of the Lions, which is why I asked the question. I don't know if I'm going the right way. Where does this go? The squeakle? Yes, RP. Can I not? 
Do you... What is the base problem? In your opinion. I will say 14 is my favorite story in Final Fantasy. Followed by 10. I have a 14 tattoo and a 10 tattoo, so that counts. I can say that. I do want to play Tactics one day, though. But I know that's going to be a big time sink. Which is fine. I just, you know, need to do it at some point. I know you are, RP. You always show up for me. Heart face. <laughs> This might just go down to Dark Root Basin. Oh, it's Valley of the Drakes. Wait. Uh. No! Hi. Fireball! Oh, it didn't like that. It didn't like that. Ow. I got it! There's four more. Uh, you don't like the gameplay loop? That's fair. Well, if you don't like that, you wouldn't enjoy the game. Alright, so this will go up to the undead dragon right there. You're in a very precarious spot, you know that? What? You've got... I slipped. The Astora Straight Sword is the head right there, though. All right, well, this does not go where I thought it went, which is fine. You're excited for more Elden Ring? Me too. Now we're... Beef jerky air again. I'm pretty sure those drakes respawn. They might drop dragon scales too. We're not using a dragon weapon, but either way. That's fair. If you didn't like the gameplay, that, that does take it away. I think I'll enjoy that gameplay though, because I enjoy that type of gameplay, like generally speaking. And like I said, Tactics Advance had the same style of gameplay and I liked it. Do I just run past you? We don't do enough damage with our, with our weapon. But obviously we can use fire. Damn. We can stun lock? Wow, that's kind of impressive actually. Unlocked. Noise. And some humanity to replace the humanity we lost. We've already been over here before, technically. I guess then if I want to go down to where the Hydra is at, we need to go back um, through Undead Berg and go down the door we opened there. I, there's definitely a different way to get there, but I cannot remember how to do it right now. Why? How'd that not hurt you? Here to make this difficult for me, huh? Those fireballs are not hurting him. I 
have to assume you do something else. k souls it's not bad it's slobbering time oh there's the the crest shield or whatever it's called cool you forgot to mention you finally got all the logs in AC6 a few days ago you love the coral blade yeah it's cool I like it um I've not played Final Fantasy 9 I've not played I've not played tactics and I've not played um six to completion, I've not played eight to completion, and I've not played two. Like legit two. That's to Blight Town. All right. Well, I guess we'll just loop around. Is two actually underrated? I've not like I've seen how to level up in two, and it doesn't seem like it's underrated. Now I'll agree. I well I've only. I, I don't know how I feel about eight either. I'll have to play two again, it's, or eight again at some point, but it's definitely not on my list. Two has the best story of the NES games. You're talking about like which you're. All right, you mean like legit two with the Emperor, right? Not with Cecil, because that was marketed as Final Fantasy two in the U.S. once upon a time. Okay. I just want to make sure because four, that's four technically and four is incredible. What's up, Ronan? What do you mean? What'd you miss? Not nothing really. We just killed an undead dragon and, and looped around here. You don't have to grind levels in eight. See, I like four. Four is one of my favorites. They got Kane in it, dude. It's the OG Dragoon. But yeah, my favorite Final Fantasies would be... I See, I say 14. I, it's hard. I mean, 10 is nostalgia trip, but 14 is so d well done. Oh, does 2 definitely have the OG Dragoon? Oh, you're right. I know who you're talking about. Yep, you're right, Cookie. Oh, uh, we can't level up. That's fine. We can't also can't upgrade our flame again. Oh, by the way, last time when we sent Laurentius away, I'm pretty sure our boy's dead and down in Blight Town now. Or down in the swamp, but you know. Sometimes you gotta break some eggs and make an omelet. Um Well, I wanna go down to see that Mr. Hydra, so I guess we'll go back through Undead Berg. There's probably a faster way to get there, and I just cannot think of what it is, so we're gonna go this way. I'd like to understand. One day I'll understand. We'll play two at some point. We're gonna the next Final Fantasy game like that we're gonna play. Well, it's probably gonna be Rebirth, to be honest with you. But out of the the classics, I, I'd like to play six next. Used by egg whites. Fine. For an omelet though. Thanks, Renan. <clears throat> Good luck with the house cleaning. Oh, excuse. What are you? What are you doing, dude? There's no one there. I don't want to, where am I going? This is not the right way. Just go where I was doing what I was doing. I was going the right way before. Keep going that way. Six is the 2D7 of popularity. Yeah, I know everyone, everyone really likes six. That's why I want to play it. This guy I've never experienced it fully. Oh, you make an egg white omelet every morning? I don't know. I didn't know you, did. I didn't know you were doing omelets. And down we go. 
I will say one thing. I, Final Fantasy V, I hold an extremely high regard. When I played that game, dude, it was so good. It blew my mind. Like, no one ever talks about Final Fantasy V, and it was so freaking good. How the hell... Is it, this is not the only way down, I didn't think. Maybe it is. Oh, there's the Hydra. Ah! He's using Hydra Pump. You can use it to kill these guys. Kill Luke's death is sadder than Eretz. <laughs> His death is depressing, I will agree with that. All right, Mr. Hydra, let's dance, I suppose. Okay, okay, thank you. Ah, water balls. Ooh, so this is actually not a boss. Why is it there? Uh, nobody knows. Thematically, it's living in the water. Oh, are you serious? Attack me with your heads. It didn't go as planned. You're supposed to miss. Oh, we can't kill it that fast. Alright, it's fine. I can't see. This should not be as hard as I'm making it. Yeah, that figured. Oh, we actually hit ahead with that. Nice. You have to cut all the heads off. Cause, yeah, but it's not like a Hercules Hydra where the, hi where the heads respawn. <laughs> There's also a, a, a drop off in this water somewhere. I don't know where it's at. I, dude, how are you always hitting me? I gotta roll left, I guess. You're like a half health. You didn't lose a fucking head yet. There we go. One head down, baby. Too many to go. Two heads down, baby. Get up on the this guy. So yeah, there's a drop off in that lake. Good work, buddy. Thank you. I, I just wanted to show everybody, so you, you you know, if you ever decide to play this game, you can, you'll know that it's there. Um, that was like, you know, just a learning moment for stream. Now you guys know that if you walk too close in that direction, there's a chance you can just drop off the ledge. Is the ledge a lot closer than I thought it was? Yes. You should have gotten up on the Hydra's back. Can't do that. You know this. It's not Monster Hunter, dude. Is that a Kingdom Hearts reference? Oh, listen, I played Kingdom Hearts one time when I was like many, 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 many moons ago. So yeah, I definitely don't know the reference. Such a good streamer. Most wouldn't show off the ways it fell to a boss. I know, right? Exactly, Connery. I'm just trying to show you guys all the, like, you know, different situations within the game. So that whenever you, if you want to play it, you then you know, you know what to expect. Oh, it's in Kingdom Hearts 2. I've never played that before. Oh, they say jump on the Hydra's back like every 20 seconds. Oh.
I, I didn't think that the ledge was that close, but you know, it was <laughs> clearly said. So. Oh, Phil yells, Phil, Phil, Phil yells that at you constantly. I did not know that. I'd like to play Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 again. Well, 1 for, again and 2 for the first time. Everyone always says 2 is the best one. Oh yeah, it is right there. You can see it, barely. I feel like that was more apparent in the old game, like the original Dark Souls, um, the original DS one, not the remaster, but I could be wrong. Come on. In your opinion, it's BBS, but yeah, wait, what was BBS? Is it birth by sleep? I didn't realize the ledge was right there. That's so close. Can I throw fireball? I can't throw fireballs that far. I know I'm gonna try. You've lost your heads. So the one that's a deck builder, isn't that like the what happens after the events of Kingdom Hearts 1? Yeah. I, I, I did play that one at one point, like at the very beginning of it. All right, that time, I don't know what happened there. I, I was like, not even in the fucking water, barely. <sighs> yeah, I can't tell, I can't speak to the lore of Kingdom Hearts at all. Not a clue. I, I watched a video on it before, but to be honest with you, not playing the games also kind of makes it kind of hazy. To understand what's going on. I didn't know half the characters. I know you got like, like you got like nobodies and you're heartless and like there's probably more to it than that. And you got like you like Sora, but then you also got like Roxas that Sora's heartless, I believe. Yeah. Playing the game won't make it any easier to understand now. Oh. For la let's just rest here. I'm probably gonna die again, so let's just get this over with. I don't even need to do this right now. I don't know why I'm doing it. I'm doing it because I thought it would be quick and easy and I'm making this look way harder or making this into a whole thing for no reason. Zelda storyline, just go beat Ganon and save the princess. I think they, they did make it more deep than that in the newer ones. I didn't play Breath of the Wild or uh, Tears of the kingdom. Oh, we never bought the Arto the Artorias seal from Andre either. To go over there and do that stuff. We don't need to do that till later, though. Technically, I don't think there's really a benefit to going there early. I could not pay you to play Breath of the Wild. You honestly probably couldn't, well, you probably could pay me enough. It'd be a lot though. It would take a lot. I, I mean, I don't 
don't have anything against Legend of Zelda games. I I loved Link to the Past. That was an incredible experience. I, that was so fun to play through. It, I um, I don't know. I just don't really have a a want to play them. Maybe I would. Uh, I I would maybe dabble in. Uh, I play. I play. I played. Uh, what's it called? Wind Waker before. That was cool. Because everyone always says you should play Majora's Mask and um, Ocarina of Time. But I've watched I've watched playthroughs of those. I feel like it's good enough for me. Ow. Roar at me. No, not like that. Now it's just being an asshole. Dude, what is, what is it doing? Why are you not melee? It's like, it bite me. All right, well, not like I wasn't ready that time. My goal is to make this quote unquote mini boss the hardest swap boss in the game. I don't understand why it's still spitting water. I'm like right in front of it. What are you doing? Like what the fuck is happening right now? I can't see the fucking limit to this. You can bear, you can kind of see right there. Twilight Princess, was that GameCube era? Or is that Wii? Maybe, maybe it came out for the Wii as well. Both, okay. Didn't work. That head's literally off the cliff. Come on. Like, there is the cliff, right? Dude, it's like you barely be in the water. Come on. I don't know what to do with this. Welcome back, Kenny. Well, that was fun. Yeah, we fell off the. Li I fell off the into the water two, three, two times. What does the dust screen do again? Grants extra magic casting with halves at HP. Okay. 
We'll go up that ladder. I don't, I don't remember where it goes. We might go to uh, another part of Dark Root Garden. So eventually the entrance to the DLC will be back here. Dusk should be back here trapped in the uh, crystal golem right now, I think. I didn't get built. Wait, uh, am I wrong? Why are you not here? Uh, we'll come back later. Maybe you have to rest and then come back here in, in the, the golden golem or whatever the golem is that has dusk and it will be there. Uh, we're not a, at a point where we can actually go to the DLC anyways. It doesn't really matter. Golden globe. Yeah. We need to get that. I forget. Is it, there's a ring in the game that allows you to not walk slowly in water or, or swamps and everything. We'll go up here. I forget where this goes. Like I said, I don't. I, don't, I think it's somewhere else in Dark Root Garden, but we'll, we'll find out. One of these days. It's a very tall ladder. Okay. We should drop by Quailana and continue upgrading our Pyromancy Flame, but I'll probably just level up for a while. We're not too far away from the Lord Vessel, which is going to let us teleport over to where she's at. No Hydra Eater music uh, playing three out of ten ladder. I don't. What's what is what, what is that music, Connery? I'm not familiar with the reference. Uh, yeah, that is where the giant cats are. I'm pretty sure. What's this way? Oh, middle. Oh, Snake Eater. So Metal Gear Solid Three. Gotcha. Wait. Rude. Right, because Metal Gear Solid 3 has that little stint where you're like you're on a you climb a super tall ladder or something like that, right? Isn't that a thing? I've never played any of the Metal Gear Solid games, so I wouldn't know. That is Undead Bird over there, I think. I don't uh, I think it is. We'll come back here later, but at a different time. Like literally a different time. Um Yeah, it's only his little gank squad here. Double kill. It does. What a thriller with the darkness through the night. Is that are those lyrics to the song? Yeah. How many of you are there? My God. Hi. All four. Oh, the Eastern set. Nice. Are we going towards where the cat is or no? We should see mushrooms first though. No, this can't be the right. This can't be that area, right?
Well, these are more like they're not ants. They're like Yorons. I think they're Yorons. The the smaller smaller trees. They have names. I can't think what they are. Because an 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 ant would be a full size tree. In Tolkien lore, but the smaller ones have a name too. I I hope we don't find the cats. Mm. Oh, this is the back way to get here. Can I open this door from the other side? Fuck. <laughs> Absolutely not. Something tells me I don't want to fight these guys, not because they can kill me, but because I think it fucks with something. Maybe it doesn't. a long run back uh do i not want to find the werecats not right now are you going to or have you already taken on best boy sif sif will not be encountered until after the dlc because i want us to get the special cutscene that just makes everything sadder but it's good yeah do you not know about the special cutscene you get if you do the DLC first? Do you know what happens in the DLC, Kenny? There's events with Sif, well, and Artorias, obviously. Being that the DLC is called Artorias of the Abyss. Well, remember, Artorius is obviously in the DLC, and so is Sif. And you rescue Sif in the DLC, and that is technically going back in time. So there's a special interaction with him whenever you meet him in the present, which is right now. So it's, it's good. It's really good. Well, in a sad way, it's good. It's also just a nice touch they added it in uh, with the DLC. It's super subtle. Like, it's not like a massive change to the cutscene, but the cutscene does change when you meet Sif. Uh, essentially, Kenny. It's, he, it had the, he, he, it's, it occurs before the fight starts, but yeah. And like, if you, if you think about the events of the game, uh, of the DLC in particular, there's a giant cat right there. Oh no, where'd I go last time? Did I not cross the bridge? I didn't cross the bridge, I went this way. Mm. 
I'm doing something bad right now. It's gonna end up getting me killed, probably. Flash damage? No. Alright, now where is my shit? Wait, you respawn? I didn't know that. Hit like a fucking truck, my dude. Cheese and crackers. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't know we were playing Shadow Bringers. <laughs> Ugh, annoying ass enemy. Alright, I, I mean, we're here. There's a bonfire here somewhere, so we'll just fucking go. There's an another one. You know what? Hold on, we're gonna get good and probably die. I don't know why I'm trying to do anything else. These guys are- he's slow, I can parry him. Um... Well, we're not human, but the, you also get the- if you join the Covenant here, you, um, you invade this area to defend the forest. I think there's a thief dude here too somewhere. I just don't remember the path through this area. Not literally at all. Well, yeah, because there's literally a, if you join the Covenant, and I think you have to wear a ring, possibly. Um, anytime someone walks in here that isn't part of the Covenant, you invade them. That's like the, the idea for the Covenant for this area. Alright, we already were over here. Maybe it's past the cats. It might be past the, the, uh, the big cats. Uh, it's not like Coven from American Horror Story, which is a great show, especially the Coven season. Alright, I'm done here. We'll come back later. Two levels. We'll go... One into Attunement, and we'll go one more into Vitality. New spell slot acquired. So we're going to throw on. Honestly, having 32 combustions is kind of sick. Let's do that. Now we can essentially use that as our main attack.
All right, we're gonna go back to Firelink. And then it's time for lizards. Ow. You never use combustion because you don't like getting close to enemies, but it's it is really good. I never really took advantage of combustion uh, when I did a pyromancy build in Dark Souls 3, but it is it is a very good ability. I don't know how Dark Souls 1 combustion stacks up to other games, but like it's really good in this game. I think the idea is like mostly everything's weak to fire. This is the dude we met down in the in blight in uh the sewer over here. I think you buy um boss armor from him. Aye, Shemai. I didn't expect to meet anybody here. I suppose great minds think alike, eh? <laughs> Which I don't think we have any available yet. No, we can just buy his stuff. Oh, he sells the master key. Huh, didn't know that. Give me Oh, you only have one more? Yeah. That. Thank you. I have this funny fee and we'll make another but yeah I'm pretty sure that um he'll sell boss armor all right we're gonna go up to Andre the giant or do we do pinwheel first we could do that to get the right of kindling and then work our way towards Anna Orlando and everything else. What's that put us at? What do we need for a level up? 11, 33, 79. Um, go Dex. All right. Um, let me think. I framped. You know what we'll do? We'll go down and we'll fight Pinwheel. We'll we'll do the first zone of that area, and then we'll work our way to Sen's Fortress and continue on. Cause I I want to figure out. We need large titanite um, to up to finish upgrading this weapon, and there's no point in continuing the, through the main uh, path in the game until we get it. Uh, let's see. Oh, <laughs> the depths have a lot of it. Apparently, if you farm them. The leech leeches in Blightstown. Oh, okay. All right, never mind. New plan. We're going to Sen's Fortress. So, before we do that, though, we are going to wrap this episode up right here for YouTube. Next time, I will see you over at Andre, and we're going to head into Sen's Fortress. So, as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.